Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, we didn't make it very far before trouble comes calling. Kill him. God, no! It burns! Over here. I really don't want to harm you, but you or leave me no choice. <laughs> You've just been dragged into the light. Show them no mercy. Dispatched. My powers. I'm here to help. They've certainly grown. Where was this other one? No, oh, this is. Atar's horse, where's mine? Sorry, Hist, that we don't have a horse for you. We'll have to put that on the list. All right, people, let's keep moving. Oh, there's a, some sort of a village up here. to approach it. All right, here we are. The Night Gate Inn. All right. God, my horse is stuck on a tree. All right, here we go. All right, Can let's I go. Help you? Come on. I suppose there are no stables or anything out here in this area. Who's this? Right, they seem peaceful enough. Uh oh. Alright, there's someone running up here with a sword drawn. And it looks like we have an ice wraith. Was this running? Are you all right? That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. It's only dangerous if you die, and I have a soul gem. All right. Is this is my horse. All right, ma'am. Get yourself to safety. There's no place for anyone to be out here at night. Oh boy, what now? Alright, there's a cave here and I hear a... Yeah, okay. And there's a bear. We'll keep going. Hopefully it has sense enough not to bother us. 
All right, it looks like it's up this hill. I wonder what kind of elf we're looking for. A dark elf, a high elf. All right, everyone, be on guard. All right, this is it, Yorgrim Overlook. Uh-oh. Don't let it get away. Nicely done. Indeed. All right, there was someone standing here. Did he run off? He must have run off. All right, I... I can't run after him at the moment. These Have you seen that shrine of Azura? These gems are too valuable. These sky shards. They say the dark there. elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. All right, and what's in this chest? An ebony mace. Look at this, the design. Okay, quickly, let's see if we can find this elf. Ah, I think he's coming back this way. Cast you into the light. Yes. Wow, that was a frightening experience. The Nords should really consider burning their dead. Although, granted, it would make opening urns a lot more harrowing. Hmm. All right, so are you okay? The skeletons must have surprised you. Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry, that's not blood on my face, it's makeup. No, I'm sorry, war paint. Doesn't help much in actual Look, there's a dragon game, back play, behind him. That's why you get first shot at rubbing these graves. I'm sorry, I'm more distracted by that dragon. I wonder if that's the one that they're still looking for in White Run. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, what do we have here? Well, yes, I hate to do it, but it's their fault for putting gold in their coffins. Yes, the markets in Sovngarde must be awfully expensive given how desperate they are to take their possessions with them. <laughs> oh, you seem to be quite a jovial and friendly man with a sense of humor. What is your name? The name's Romarin, professional adventurer, bladebinder, and grave robber. Really? And where are you headed now? Oh, I have a friend who works the stables at Windhelm. That's where I'm staying for the time being. I normally travel alone, but that's because I'm insufferable. If by chance you're willing to overlook that, I might make for a good companion. <laughs> I see. Well, tell me, what is a blade binder? It's right there in the word. I summon and bind blades and weapons from oblivion. I see. I was always good with a sword and bow and always too lazy to carry them. Learning how to conjure the weapons I need solved that dilemma. Hmm. So you picked up conjuring weapons? Just like that? 
that's where the knife is come in handy. Or was it crocodile lips? Toad skin? I can never forget these infernal nicknames the humans give us. What I'm trying to say is that High Elves are born with an affinity for magic. A head start, if you will, in the skill of hand waggling. Would you classify yourself as a witchblade or a spell sword, then? No, I can't compare to them. Unless by illusion you mean hiding a dagger in my sleeve. Not unless by alteration you mean covering my nose around beggars, or by destruction you mean what time does to love. Huh. I consider myself more of a blacksmith. Oblivion is my forge and conjuration my hammer. It's an interesting way of looking at it. So what are the advantages of using only bound weapons? Well, for starters, traveling light makes it easy to flee. <laughs> Not that I would advocate running from a fight. No, best to back away slowly until your friends intervene. Hmm, I'm starting to get a sense of your character. So, on the flip side, a bound sword is loud, time-consuming, and can't be tempered. You forgot impermanent, magic draining, and the fact that they only come in one color. <laughs> Still, you don't have to carry them. I don't know about you, but the idea of slogging from town to town with a weapon rack strapped to my back is not my idea of an adventure. You do have a point. Do you know any other magic besides conjuring weapons? Ever seen an elf juggle three axes while conjuring a fourth? Tie a cherry stem into a knot with their tongue? Now that's magic. Now, if you mean spells and things, that, I'm afraid, requires more than being born with your ears pointed skyward. That requires... ugh, studying. You wear the robes of a college mage. Not quite. These are actually a cheap imitation, really? woven and enchanted to look like their more esteemed counterpart. The point is to convince naive patrons the enchantments were performed by a master. They are not. Hmm, if you know it's a gimmick, why buy them yourself? Well, consider the fact that bandits are twice as naive as the average customer looks. Thus, one ruse leads to another. Not that these robes are only good for conjuring a story. The enchantment is far from spectacular, but on occasion it does help me conserve magicka. Hmm. Well, most robes lack defense anyway. You need alteration to steal your flesh. But not everyone can do both conjuration and alteration. Most can't do either. I mean, tomes tell us how to cast magic, but does anyone really know how it works? <coughs> they say there's a book on conjuration so complicated that only two scholars can understand it and both disagree on the meaning. Vehemently. Who crafts these robes? Well, I know a guy. A real master of mimicry. Robes from Winterhold, fake scimitars from Hammerfell. There is nothing this craftsman can't replicate. Well, except a personality. <laughs> All right, so I noticed that you wear war paint or makeup as you referred to it. Why the lines under the eyes? Well, I was going to go for something more subtle, like a wyvern mounting a cliff racer, but I thought that people might misinterpret the analogy. And besides, there wasn't enough room on my groin to begin with, so I decided to paint my face instead. A dash under the eyes helps with the glare. So does a hood. Hmm. Yes, your wit this is a bit much to... I don't know. I don't want to say stomach, but... It's a bit much. So, what... What about in general? Do you know if there's any significance to the war paint? Well, in some parts of Tamriel, war paint is seen as a tribal mark for warriors. In others, it can be a family crest, an artistic splash, or just too much makeup. 
Of course, excessive makeup is traditionally a sign you will serve as wealthy nobles for gold. And before you ask, my price is 100 septums and no kissing on the mouth. Okay, maybe once or twice, but no tongue. You really have to be kidding me. Is this a jest, or do you fancy other males? Males, females, beasts, goats, the list goes on and on. Although I confess I don't like billies. You're not a billy, are you? Well, if you are, I'd still do it, but it's going to cost extra. If I knew what a billy was. So, you're not exactly a serious elf, are you? Oh, I'm serious about a lot of things. In fact, I'm absolutely dedicated to not taking life seriously. So where do you think we should go next? So, it's Romarin's turn to make a decision. Bold move on your part, seeing as I'm half a half-wit. <laughs> Just remember to point the finger elsewhere when things go wrong. Otherwise, I'm likely to pull it and make some sort of crude noise. All right, then. Yes, all right. The world's eater must perish. Evil has questioned the validity of our existence. Let's get going. The divines have brought you. I don't know answer. about having him. Join us. He seems to be too flippant and not serious enough, especially. With a man like you among the hist, I don't think the two of you would get along at all. <laughs> all right, well. Let's look at our next stop. All right, it looks like we need to investigate the Sky Shadow Crypt. Vigilant, good work. I'm still. Sunlight on her breath, and scales as vibrant as the autumn. All right, look out, there's spiders up here. You sheathed your weapon and your clothes didn't disappear. All right, we're making progress. Let's keep going. Hmm, it's either gold or corundum, but I'm not gonna stop. Out. There's a bear up there on the left. Let's try to avoid it. And 
What's this? Drobar's shack. Are the bears coming this way? Alright, I think we need to investigate. This could possibly be a dragon attack. Hello, traveler. What? You look tired. Perhaps Drobar can assist. Well, hello. Have we met? We haven't. What happened to this house? Drobar is not sure. Perhaps the Circle of Candles is a clue. Also the corpse. One thing Drobar does know is that whoever this was, he did not write his name on this yak. Drobar has looked everywhere, and it is clear the place now belongs to him. <laughs> All right. Seems fair enough. Can I get a tour? Of course. Right this way. Over here are some rare plates he found in a fort. Hmm. Made of a special wood that comes from trees. Very valuable and valuable. I see. This is a kettle full of wine bottles. They used to be full of wine, but a high elf came by one day and wrote her name on all of them. But they are still valuable. For the glass. Very good material for making windows. Over here is where Drobar keeps his torches and pitchforks. Very handy if you want to start the rebellion. Lastly, this is where Drobar sleeps and keeps a record of his belongings. He would move the piles of burnt wood but he is not sure if they belong to another. Drobar cannot tell if there are names on them. Well... I think it's probably safe to say that no one is coming to claim these burnt planks. One cannot be sure. There are things Drobar has not seen for many years, but he still endeavors to find them. Some of these things cannot even be touched, but they are valuable nonetheless. For instance, Drobar knows a great secret, one that could change the fortunes of many. But he has trouble recalling what it is. Hmm. All right. Is there anything I can do to help you remember? Perhaps, if you help Drobar find his lucky gold coin, that always helps him remember the important All right, well, we... Uh, oh. Sorry, we, uh... There's a gold can coin that we should search for when we have the time. Is there anything in here? I'm not going to take anything from Can him. Can I help you? What about these bears? Have we met? Yes, we have met. All right, let's let's help him out with these bears. This does not seem like a, a good situation. Get in.
Oh, wait a minute. Don't sheath I'm your weapons here. just yet. Look at that. Wolves. Standing over a corpse. Good work. Thank you, Hist. If not for your paralysis. What else is there? A bouncer. See if we can find our way back. It was quite the chase that bear led us on. Hello. How are you? You keep your distance with that magic. All right. All right, here it is. Good, you both made it. The Sky Shadow Crypt. 